Hey there, and welcome to The Jeremy G Show, episode eight. In this episode, I'm answering a question from Valentin, and he had a question asking me how I learned to sing, and his question was asking how would I recommend him to start singing. So, first off, just a quick background of my history. I, I grew up around music, so I was a drummer and a piano player growing up early on in my days when I was really young. But I never really started singing until I was 22 years old. I moved to Vietnam and I brought my guitar because it's hard to travel with a piano or a drum set. And naturally I just started playing, playing guitar and singing on my own. And I definitely was not very good when I first started out, but over time I just started getting a little bit better each time and then I started performing and getting on stage more. And I still wouldn't say I'm a, an amazing singer, but I, I stick to my strengths and I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not good at. So simply by doing that and simply by you know not screwing up a whole lot, you can, you can get pretty far. So Valentin asks, how would I explain in less than five minutes? So timer's on, ready, go. All right, number one, practice every day. I think that goes with anything, but you just gotta do it every day and get a little bit better. You're gonna suck early on, but, but that's okay. Just practice every day. Number two, listen to music every day. The more you can familiarize yourself with music and notes and just songs and rhythm, etc., like the more you're going to be able to sing. The more exposure you get, the more you understand. It's the same way you look for inspirations with any kind of art or any kind of skill. If you want to write, then you can read and you'll become a better writer. If you want to make films, you watch films and then you get better at creating them. So that's number two. Number three, record yourself and then listen to yourself again. Sounds simple and basic, but not a lot of many people do it. So uh, just record yourself singing, send it to a friend, send it to your mom, whatever you want to do. But listen to yourself as well so you can hear what sounds good and what sounds bad. And it also helps you be able to track your progress and see um, how everything is going. Number four is just learn basic rhythm. That's just counting one, two, three, four. If you don't have a drumming background, that's okay. Just being able to count the measures and the bars in the song is gonna be very important for you to sing so you stay on beat. So very basic, basic rhythm, but I would definitely learn that. Number five, figure out your why. Maybe you want to impress the ladies. Maybe you want to record a song. Maybe you want to sing at the open mic down the street from your place. Just make sure you figure out why you want to sing because that'll help you uh, stay motivated throughout the entire process. Number six is a little bit of a, a bonus and that is pick up uh, an easy instrument if you can. I would recommend piano, guitar, or ukulele. Ukulele is those really cute guitars that you can just travel along with you whenever. Um, picking up uh, an instrument like this would be helpful because you wouldn't be dependent on anyone else for the music. And it's more sustainable in the long term if you want to practice singing and playing. And it'll also help you um, use those skills you know, based on rhythm and, and melody and with the music to, to sing while you play. And it'll be a good... Uh, good uh, double attack to have you know you can have the music you can sing and yeah the next thing you know you're, you're gonna be a one-man show so I really recommend uh, picking up an instrument it'll, it'll make it uh, maybe a little bit more challenging at the beginning but you'll be able to go much further all right number seven is karaoke now if you're not living in Asia maybe it's not as common but you can look up on YouTube and get karaoke or download um, instrumentals from songs and just practice singing you gotta you gotta have fun if it turns into a job and a task and stuff, then it's not going to be enjoyable. So really, practice with, with karaoke. And karaoke is really fun. If you haven't been to karaoke, make it to Southeast Asia and, and come hit me up. We'll go sing karaoke together. It sounds kind of weird and awkward, but it's really a lot of fun. I promise. It's, it's not anything like it is in the States here, here in Asia. It's way different and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, karaoke. Number eight. This is a little bit more of advanced tactic, but familiarize yourself just with simple scales. So there's a song, Do, Re, Mi, Do, a deer, a female, deal, etc. Um, if you could just learn that, the point isn't to memorize scales and know exactly what note is what, but it is important for you to realize when a note goes up and then when a note goes down and to be able to recognize that. 
So when I'm talking like this, I'm staying at the same, same pitch. But if I go a little bit higher, that's going up. And if I go a little bit lower, etc. So being able to recognize that by ear is very important because once you start singing, um, you're going to have to put that into practice. Number nine, um, getting a singing teacher. It's kind of obvious, but they'll probably give you, give you more you know, one-on-one -on -one help and be able to work on your vocal strength, etc. I never did that, so I can't really vouch for it, but I know some singing coaches. I know some friends who have worked with singing coaches, and it definitely works, so definitely give that a shot. And 10, I would say start with one simple song and just master it. Keep singing it and singing it and singing it until you sing it perfectly. Don't start with a long, you know, rap song or Rhapsody Blues by Queen or some crazy song. Just start with a simple song and, and really work on that and, and get your confidence up because once you can sing one song, that'll give you motivation and confidence to go and sing another song. But just start with one very early on and choose a song that you love and choose it by an artist that you want to sound like because you can do your best to, to mimic their voice and just sound like them and if that's what you want to sound like then pick a song by that artist and just go at it and last a bonus one number 11 is focus on your strengths so for me personally i don't have that big of a range i can't go very low i can't go very high so i just kind of you know sing consistently and keep it you know even i don't make that many mistakes. I'm just a consistent singer and I know that. Uh, my strengths are probably rapping and writing funny lyrics. So those are my strengths as a singer and as a performer. So as you start singing, I would just say focus on your strengths. If you can go high, then pick songs that go high. If you can go low and you have the you know, bass or tenor voice, then, then do that. Pick songs where you go low. But just know your strengths and and stick with them when you're performing. And then you can still work on your weaknesses behind the scenes where you're practicing. But I would really wait to, to perform and sing in front of people uh, before you're confident. Wait until you're confident and really hone those skills uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, and, and one more thing, I would just say, just know right away that there are some really, really hard songs to sing. Some songs are very simple and everybody and their grandma can sing them. But other songs, you know, I can't sing them. Most people can't sing them. Mariah Carey is famous for a reason. She's got a crazy range and she can sing, you know, challenging songs. So just because you can't really get one song, that's okay. I would just say go on to the next one. You're not going to be able to sing every song. Some things are more challenging than others. And like everything in life, you know, just know your abilities and push yourself, but be aware of the fact that nobody's perfect. And even though some people would argue that singing is you know, a gift that you are given and you either have it or you don't. I completely disagree with that. I think some people have head starts and some people have more talent than other, but I think really it's just uh, another muscle in your body and you can train it. And the more you work at it, the better you'll get. So thanks, Valentine, for your question. I hope this helped. Um, yeah, let me know your progress. Post a video of you singing or follow up in the questions. I'd love to to hear back from you and if you guys have any more questions make sure to submit them in comments or tweet them at hashtag jeremy g show and yeah we got a, a cloudy sunset behind me so i'm going to stop recording this video but um before that i want to ask you one quick favor um if you're watching this and you made it this far i assume that you enjoy somewhat this video so if you have one friend that you think would uh, appreciate it I'm not asking you to share it on Facebook or tweet it or send it to all your friends. Just if you know one person who you think would benefit from this and would like to learn how to sing or just appreciates the color of my shirt, I don't know, just one friend. I would really appreciate it because I'm trying to get this you know, seen by, by more eyes and just want to help more people. So if you got a question, leave it in the comments, subscribe, and adios. Because I'm a foreigner in Southeast Asia I'm a foreigner in Southeast Asia